The president could be making a return visit to the valley in the next few weeks. 12 News has learned his campaign is scouting for a Phoenix site for a campaign rally. Bram Resnick has more on that story and why that rally might not be a good thing for Republican candidates. Yeah, President Trump has avoided getting involved in Arizona's bitter Republican primary for the U.S. Senate. Now it looks like the president is ready to jump in and help the winner keep the seat Republican. But Trump's Arizona approval ratings, not to mention today's news, could create problems for the primary winner. President Donald Trump might be making reservations for a return trip to the Valley. 12 News has learned the Trump campaign is seeking a Phoenix rally venue for September 5th or 6th, the week after Arizona's primary. Trump's Phoenix visit one year ago sparked protests and a melee outside the downtown convention center. A campaign stop this year carries political risks for Arizona Republicans. GOP voters are huge fans of their president. His approval rating is 74%. Democrats can't stand the guy. 86% don't like the job Trump's doing. But here's the problem for Republicans. 50% of independent voters, that's the key swing block, don't approve of his performance. Only 35% approve. Trump's overall approval rating in Arizona is underwater. 43% approve, 48% disapprove. Polls indicate Tucson Congresswoman Martha McSally is the front runner in the Senate race. Former state legislator Kelly Ward is running second. But look at TV ad spending in the Republican primary. McSally's campaign and outside groups backing her have spent $7.6 million to boost her or tear down Ward. That is 10 times the $776,000 spent by Ward's campaign and outside groups supporting her. The third candidate in the race, Joe Arpaio, hasn't aired a single TV ad. And Joe Arpaio's lack of TV ads is all the more surprising if you remember how he'd blanket TV screens with ads when he ran for sheriff. Let's send it back to you.